Welcome back, everybody. There's all kinds of ways you can ask me a question right here on the Susie Orman Show. One way is by email. Come on, type in your email, send it in, and maybe it will get chosen and I get to answer it, which is why Lou comes on the set. Yep. He reads them to me. I got them right here. How are you tonight? Good, how are you? Uh -huh. I got a quick question uh, in relation to this email I'm going to read. Uh, what do you think of the tax code? Flat, are you a flat tax girl? Like, what do you, what do you think of the current... Uh, are you asking Tesco. me a political question? I am. Question? Well, is it political? I think it's kind of political. All right. I actually would like to go to a flat. Club. Really? Absolutely. I, I had a feeling. Absolutely. I had a feeling. I That's why I asked. Don't, you really don't want to know what I really think. I do, but maybe you don't want to say. You don't want to know what I think about half the things that go on in the United States today when it comes to our politicians, our tax code. Now you got me aggravated. Sorry. Read me the email. Sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah, you got it. Kathleen, yeah. <laughs> Kathleen, age 55 in California. We have been hit with a large sum owed to the IRS. We cannot afford to fight it any longer. Our question is, would it be better for us to cash out a small 401k plan and pay down the IRS debt as much as we can, then take out a loan to pay off the rest and be done with the IRS, or set up a payment plan with the IRS? Oh, boy, you know, you never want to mess with them. You never want to mess with them. Here's the problem. If you cash out your 401k, it's going to get you into tax problems all over again because when you cash out a 401k, you will owe ordinary income tax on the entire amount you cashed out. And if you're not of the proper age when you do so, it's going to be a 10% penalty as well. If you don't have the money to pay your taxes now, how are you going to get to pay your taxes on your 401k and what you owe? No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Here's the thing. If you can take out a loan at a lesser interest rate from someplace else and pay off the IRS, that's what you should do. Lesser interest rate than what? Than what the IRS is going to charge you to work out a loan problem with them. Might want to check what are your payments to the IRS? What would your payments be if you qualified even for another loan? And then you will be able to decide which one you should do. You know. Hmm. People need to stop looking at their retirement accounts, their 401k plans, as their savior to their financial problems. Don't people also understand, do you know that if you ever had to claim bankruptcy, do you know this, Lou? No. Well, I don't know. Tell me. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's a loaded question. Your 401k plans are protected. Ah. Your retirement accounts are protected. You're not going to get that money taken from you if you ever claim bankruptcy. And if you can't pay the IRS, chances are you might be claiming bankruptcy one day. All right. Gotcha. So what do you think about Social Security? Get I'm just kidding. Heck out of here. Get out of here. What do I think of Social Security? What do I think about flat taxes? What do I think about politics? A lot. But here's what I know for sure. There's only one thing that matters when it comes to your money, and it is this. People first, then money, then things. Now, till next Saturday night, you stay home.